I think it's noteworthy to bring up. I can never look at the quiet game the same ever again. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? This is the CEO treatment of A Quiet Place. So what is it about? This film takes place in a world where you have to be as quiet as possible or you die. The world's overran by these alien creatures and if you make a sound, one of them will come out of the woodworks and kill you within 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, I know. It sounds stupid. We follow one family and their story and their struggle to survive in this world. So without any further ado, what did I like? This film is tense, like really tense. It's like Wesley Snipes inside of an H&R Block kind of tense. A good chunk of this film, if not half of it's completely silent. I mean, which normally that would be pretty boring. That would, that would be a snooze fest. But in this film, and this one, it adds to the intensity more and more as it goes on. One thing that made the theatrical experience great in this one is the fact that you were quiet with them. The entire theater was dead silent. If you ate popcorn too loud, we hated you. It was an awesome experience because when we talk about an escapism or being trapped in an immersive world in films, this is the perfect example. You felt like you were on the ride with these characters. It started to become apparent that taking away our limiting senses really works well in the genre genre. Genre genre, yeah, that's definitely a new one. I meant to say horror thriller genre. Let's continue. Because Don't Breathe, which was awesome, and Hush, which was even more awesome, played on similar concepts, and both of those movies were lit. Also, I really love Emily Blunt and John Skrzynski in this one. That's the best I'm saying his last name. Don't ask me to do it again. The fact that these two had to rely 90% on facial expressions and body movement, they did a phenomenal job. Even with the lack of words, they really conveyed a message that they were trying to give the best life possible to their kids. John also wrote and directed this, and you know, it's not like people could come from sitcoms or comedies and make great horror movies like you know who can do that if this trend keeps up can we get like jim carrey to do one can we get tiffany hashit hell let's get kevin hart to do it because apparently this formula works so what didn't i like only one real gripe with this film i'm gonna be 100 percent real with you some of you may hate the fact that it's a little dialogue and almost completely silent but overall i have to say this is honestly my favorite film of 2018 so far creative story relatable characters short sweet to the point and it kept me engaged from beginning to end this one gets the highest honor because i walked out of a quiet place Quietly thinking to myself, it is a gift from the gods. So if you guys seen A Quiet Place or plan to, if so, drop a comment below. Got an idea? Let me know. I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Peace out.